Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we've got England versus Ireland. This is an absolutely monumentally huge game. Um, I will be streaming it live. Come and watch it with me. Check it out. We can sit and chat and watch rugby together and yeah, it'll be fun. So please come and check that out. Um, but we've got it to preview first. Um, yeah. Let's go through the teams, you know, you should know how this works by now, and let's go. So starting off with the home team, which is England, we have 1 Ellis Genge, 2 Jamie George, 3 Dan Cole, 4 Maru Otoji, 5 George Martin, 6 Ollie Chesham, 7 Sam Underhill, 8 Ben Earl, 9 Alex Mitchell, 10 George Ford, 11 Tommy Freeman, 12 Ollie Lawrence, 13 Henry Slade, 14, Man Emmanuel Faye Waboso, and 15, George Furbank. Really good to see Faye Waboso getting his start. Um, he obviously scored against Scotland a good line. Uh, I thought he played well when he came on, um, so I think it's well deserved. Um, Mitchell's back from injury as well. That's good to see. Um, maybe might help England out a bit as um, was it KR against Scotland was a bit dodgy, so yeah, um, a few people wondering about Finn Smith starting. Uh, I I heard he was injured, and uh, he's not on the bench either. Marcus Smith is; he's back as well. But let's go on to the bench. Speaking of it, sixteen Dan, seventeen Marlar, eighteen Stewart, nineteen Cunningham South, twenty Dombrant, twenty one Care, twenty two Smith, twenty three Daly. So as I said, Marcus Smith is back. Um. To be honest with you, that bench doesn't look... That bench doesn't... If I was Ireland, that bench doesn't scare me. There's no one really on there that can light up the game. I mean, Marcus Smith maybe, but I don't rate him at international level. I think he's solid at club level, but I just don't think he can cut it at international. Especially against the top teams. Um, so, yeah. And that'll be interesting to see. But not a pretty strong side from England. Um, but again... There's a name missing, and I've just realised. Freddie Stewart again. Is he? Is he must be injured, right? He must be injured. Either that, or he's pooed in Borthwick's coffee cup or something. It's the only other explanation that I can think that he's not playing. He was phenomenal in his first two games, and then it's just vanished. Maybe he's been abducted by aliens or something. Maybe the French stole him. <laughs> Anyway, let's go over to the Ireland team. Um, one, Andrew Porter. Two, Dan Sheenan. Three, Tide Furlong. Four, Joe McCarthy. Five, Tide Byrne. Six, Peter O'Mahony. Seven, Josh van der Fleer. Eight, Caelan Doris. Nine, Jameson Gibson Park. Ten, Jack Crawley. Eleven, James Lowe. Twelve, Bundy Aki. Thirteen, Robbie Henshaw. Fourteen, Calvin Nash. Fifteen, Hugo Keenan. So Keenan is back. From his injury. Um, yeah, that's a strong Ireland side. That's a really strong Ireland side. I don't know why I'm whispering. That's a good Ireland side. <laughs> um, going over the bench, we've got 16 Kelleher, 17 Healy, 18 Beelham, 19 Henderson, 20 Baird, 21 Conan, 22 Murray, 23 Frawley. So a 6 2 for Ireland pretty expected from them they usually do that to be fair but no that's a strong Ireland team that really is um especially with Keenan back and um, that again it just shows what how ludicrous the decision if it is if he's not injured of course the the, the decision to just not have Freddie Stewart involved um looking at this game again at the start of the week I put out a poll for you guys and I meant was it 96 94 percent of you guys think Ireland are going to win this game um I do think Ireland will get it done but I don't think it'll be as much you know I see people saying it'll be like 50 60 I don't think it'll be quite like that it never usually is in England Ireland games um Ireland might dominate it but not the scoreline I think it'll actually be quite a tight game and as a Scotland fan who just wants to see Ireland get it done um, just, I'd rather get set as long as we do our job against Italy um, 
I'd rather Ireland get it done than England. No, I know some people want England to beat Ireland for us to have a shot at the title, but again, as I said in the Scotland preview, I don't think Scotland have it against Ireland. But So I'd rather Ireland get the job done now and we get the job done, and that's first and second secured, which maybe we can go up against Ireland for the Triple Crown in a slightly less pressured game because we won't have England knocking on us to try and take second off us. Um, so, yeah... Um, but I, I struggle to see Ireland losing this game but I also struggle to see them thumping England um, I think England especially at Twickenham well, they need a big performance because I know already lots of people are starting to turn on them um, I know they're putting in a new system and that but it's pretty evident and after being at Murrayfield a lot of England fans were starting to question um, so it'll be interesting to see uh, England need a big performance Ireland just need to keep doing what they're doing um, still going for their perfect Six Nations of course bonus point beating everyone and I think they'll do this pretty much no problem and wrap up the tournament this weekend um, so yeah that's really all I've got to say I think this is Ireland um, yeah thank you very much for watching um, I'll be back tomorrow with the France Wales probably. The Welsh team's out, but the French will probably put them in uh, tomorrow as it is on Sunday. Again, as I said, I'm live streaming this game. Make sure to come and check it out. Uh, watch it with me, chat about it. Um, yeah. uh, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about the game, and I shall see you next time. Bye-bye.